to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. We'll start this week in Bristol, Tennessee, at the half-mile NASCAR track known as the Last Great Coliseum. That's where Sam Mayer literally had a perfect weekend. Competing in the NASCAR K&M Pro Series East portion of the weekend's festivities, Sam was fastest in both practices, broke the track record in qualifying, and led every lap of the 150-lap feature to score the victory in his GMS Racing Chevrolet. It was the first win in the series for the Team Chevy Driver's Edge Development Driver. His next start will be at Salem Speedway in the Arkham Menard Series on April the 14th. Staying on the East Coast for a moment, Cars Tour late model stock car rookies Adam Lemke and Minnie Tyrell were in action at Orange County Speedway in Rougemont, North Carolina for a three-day race that was paying a whopping $30,000 to win the richest paying late model stock car race in history. Lemke started 22nd in his junior motorsport Chevrolet and methodically moved his way forward. Running just outside the top five, the team made a late race strategy call to keep Lemke out on old tires when most of the rest of the leaders pitted under a caution for new tires, leaving him second on the restart. Adam wound up finishing third just ahead of his teammate Josh Berry in just his third start on the tour. Tyrell, who is just 14 years old, was making his first ever start at Orange County. He qualified in through Saturday's heat race despite a bent rear end from a brush with the wall earlier in that race. On Sunday, he started 28th and drove a clean and determined race to finish in the 8th position, his finest cars to a run yet. Both Adam and Minnie were happy with their performances after the race was over. Next cars to her start for both drivers will be Saturday, May the 3rd at A Speedway in North Carolina. Heading out west, three race face drivers were running in the 5150 Junior Late Model Race at Madeira Speedway in California. Joey East uses a strong outside move on a restart with two laps left in the race to win his first in the division driving for Nake Clower Motorsports, adding another positive notch to his belt following a third place finish in his pro late model debut for the team just a few weeks ago. Jake Bowman started 10th and ran as high as 4th place in that event before spinning to avoid an accident. He rebounded, though, to an eventual 8th place finish. Jaden Walbridge started on the pole, but unfortunately he was eliminated in a crash on the 6th lap. The next race for Jaden will be at the Las Vegas Bowl Ring on April 20th. Joey and Jake will make their next start at Madeira on April the 27th. Jesse Love returned to Placerville Speedway in California for the second consecutive week to jump back in the wing sprint car. He took lessons he learned one week ago at the track, started 18th in the feature event, and charged to a 10th place finish. For his efforts, he was given the Hard Charger Award. His next race will actually be April the 14th as he switches back to the pavement for the second Spears Southwest Tour Series event of the season. Joe Valento was scheduled to run a Legends car at the Dells Raceway Park over the weekend, but unfortunately, that race was rained out. Joe will compete in a Midwest Truck Series race at Madison International Speedway in Wisconsin on May the 5th. That's a wrap for this week's Driver Updates. You can catch up on any episodes that you might have missed at Race Face TV On Demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community and we will see all of you back here next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Go out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. For race face driver updates, I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.